Okay. China's social credit system explained in an infographic. Oh, really? And I haven't seen this. It shows the kinds of things that um, would like get you social credit points and the kinds of things that would cost you social credit points. So some of the get stuff is, is pretty cool. Like engaging in charity work gets you points, taking care of elderly family members, positively influence the neighborhood, donating blood. Heroic act. Praising the government on social media gets you points. <laughs> Helping the poor, having good financial credit history, and committing a heroic act, as Kyle mentioned. Now, some of the things that lower your score. Cheating in online games. Okay. Participating in anything to be deemed a cult. Insincere apologies for crimes committed. <laughs> scary. <laughs> Spreading rumors on the internet. Posting anti-government messages on social media. Uh, I not bet that's visiting, a lot of the rumors. Not visiting aging parents. Illegally protesting against authorities. Traffic offenses. So I'm sorry, are, are these are these rank ordered? Or can I just not say, that I, can I just I say that know. I'm on board with this system like 92 percent? Mm -hmm. This sounds like some I really like the visiting the elderly. We don't do enough of that. Cheating on okay. online games. I love the cheating of the online games, mm -hmm. and they need it over there, those fucking cheaters. Another word. And, and, and. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I think another word sounds so much. And 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 giving blood. I like that too. They won't take mine because I got like syphilis yeah. antibodies or something. I don't know mm. what they said. Really? Because uh, I bet your blood is fucking awesome. If I took your blood, I'd get jacked. If you took my blood, you get acne. <laughs> <laughs> your fucking voice would get deeper. <laughs> I like the uh, I like the stuff like visiting the elderly. You're right. That's good. But then like spreading rumors online or saying anything about the Chinese government, it's like I was hoping to hear you know the end of like, it, It's funny how they structure that, I mean, it like yeah. all of these so things do, where it's like oh, if you, if you donate blood. Country. A very specific thing, donating blood, you can get points. Oh, if you say something we don't like online, yeah. And then if you insincerely apologize about it, yeah. Or if you spread something we deem to be a rumor after the fact, yeah. And so it's like, yep. oh, so there's a million billion ways to get lowered down and only a couple of small ways to go up. What, are you going to visit elderly people every day? You're going to give <laughs> blood every day? It is like, true. It does seem to start with a knock you down system. Yeah. No, this I is a pay to play. No, we know this how this is shit very works. Easy. Look, look, all you got to do is... Jack Ma uh, doesn't play by that rule. Just don't be an asshole, right? Like, like, they're saying people are spreading rumors about the government online. I don't like that either. All right? I don't want somebody <laughs> out there spreading rumors about my government. Get out of here, busybody. Where are you from? Aren't the important no, bits I want nothing but rumors. <laughs> Aren't the uh, important bits the, what, what they do with this? What well, it we're, we're going to chip by away at your score. Or not? Yeah, they you put know, you in we jail. Chip, we chip away at your score enough. You won't be able to uh, find gainful employment. I mean, employers should definitely look at your score to see what kind of person you are. I would love it if there were a cool guy score that everybody mm. had been accruing since the time. What would I were... do to raise my points? All right, cool yeah. guy score. Um, you uh, would like, post think, uh, woke so, memes on Twitter. Traffic violations. Like, bag one hundredth girl. So so <laughs> let's say let's say like, traffic, <laughs> cool guy. traffic violations are a mixed bag. Speeding, cool guy points. <laughs> <laughs> Running a red light. You lose cool guy points. See, mm. you see how that works. All Doing right. a donut in a parking lot, cool guy points. It, under it, eighteen, cool guy. Were there points girls older there? than eighteen? Only mm. if there were girls the there. There were girls there, but they were underage. How's that factor in? That's extra complicates. Cool. <laughs> the those, those are the only girls who think donuts are cool. <laughs> what, are, what are you out of your mind? What are you gonna do yeah. donuts for a bunch of thirty year olds? That's why I do donuts in front of KB. I call the cops. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. <laughs> I would like some sort of uh, – because right now we got this, like, credit system that doesn't even take so much into uh, account, right? Like, like, they don't care that I'm paying my cell phone bill, apparently, on time. Yeah. Like, they don't care that, like, I pay my garbage man on time. But yeah. they do care if I, like, have some silly credit card that they, they'll just – I don't know when they'll stop sending them if I, if I kept saying yes. Lately. And they do that for everyone. I, I, mm -hmm. I feel like – I don't know. I, we need a real – credit system these chinese are on to something hmm. well they are winning like I, I i don't believe they were battle. everyone's beating us anymore i need to we need to have a war to be sure because we yeah. thought russia was pretty badass and it turns out they're not as good as a bunch of dude russia has been shining our wheels all month this has been look 
it's not going great over here, right? The mass shootings, the economy's looking rough, <laughs> and fucking inflation is. Yeah, terrible. but look at how high our inflation I, numbers are. Regard, regardless of mm-hmm. whether you're liberal or conservative or whatever the fuck, we all know our president is kind of like pitiful. Half in but the like, bag. The last yeah. one was embarrassing. So is this one, but for a very different way. This is like grandpa needs to be like, his wife is there so much, and I think she's there for a safety system. I'm not even laughing at him anymore. I feel bad. Like he's a diminished man. It it, it feels bad, but (laughs) we're not Russia. (laughs) Jesus Christ. They can't do anything right. It's, 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 did you ever like in your head put Russia on like equal tier with China? Maybe I did thought about it differently. I always had like China as a much like higher tier, like a long time ago. Like, yeah, they were the second, right? China's a rising star. Russia feels like it's a falling. Perfect, perfect. The thing is, they did have us believe that Russia might be second or third in best armies in the world. Remember the premise of like, I don't remember which Call of Duty it was, but the premise was that Russia had swept across Europe, like Mm -hmm. all the way to France. And they had also paratrooped into like the west coast of the united states and it was a fight for la or some shit you were like in small town america with a 50 cow like like it was like <laughs> i don't mean to be to be anti-french but i do think that russia would have an easier time in france oh, than ukraine the french would hold them back with their lives they can't ta- they can't take it you think so like last time um yeah I, didn't I, the I, nazis I, conquer france in like four hours I watched a I, starter I, every time of the retelling. Huh? I, a, uh, <laughs> I think I it literally document- was like two days or something, right? <laughs> I, I watched a documentary about that and they explained it was why. like they went at skipping why? speed to Paris <laughs> and then conquered it, and then that was it. Ah, <laughs> oh, this is fucking easy, Hans. Why is so much fun? Watch us surrendering on the way in. Hello. <laughs> I just want to point out that Tiller's now been holding that thing for two and a half hours that's <laughs> <laughs> not that's nothing for him yeah, that's amazing his I'm left hand best. can't do shit but his right hand's going for three four hours before yeah no, I, I, I watched a documentary that explained why france um like capitulated so quickly and it, it i can't remember the finer details of of the war lines or whatever and how everything progressed but i came away from it being like oh they were kind of had a raw deal that's that that wasn't really fair then i guess and, you know what it is war or whatever but it seemed like they weren't prepared properly for what happened well, i can't I think remember the, the finer details the, at all the, the germans basically like debuted that strategy of blitzkrieg, blitzkrieg. Like lightning war and no one had ever fought like that in the modern era and so france didn't anticipate them being able to cover the amount of ground they did and so it was like they were caught flat-footed at every single encounter yeah I, although I at some level it was at some level, you do have to wonder, like, no one had thought strategically of the strategy of taking things quickly. Like, I understand it's not exactly that, and I, I don't want to, but it just sounds like that's probably been thought of once or twice before. What if we attack them really quickly? No, that would never work. You know, like, <laughs> yeah. it, 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 a lot of technologies had, had like, convened as well to make it possible with, with the uh, more reliable engines, period. Because, because you know, World War yeah. One, like, there's a I'm lot sure, of I'm sure, I'm sure it was like, you know, like counter to like the current idea of like digging like fucking trenches and like holding this bit by bit. I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure. It's, but it's, it's still promoted, hilarious. It, level that. When you think of Blitzkrieg, I always thought of just like, all right, everybody go that way. But then I watched like um, it was actually from the 40s and it was one of those like silly black and white animations for the U.S. Army explaining it. And the, and it was more like a spear penetrating through the line yep. and the line could eventually was pierced. And then, like the, everything behind it, forming this channel that that mm-hmm. now the line was completely pierced, and you had enemies to your left and right, but the front kept piercing more, and the and the back mm-hmm. is like filling in the gaps, like continually. There was a very organized um, maneuvering uh, thing that was going on via radio I, and and highly highly yeah. trained, cracked out uh, troops because they were all on uh, amphetamines. Wasn't the Maginot line a big part of it? I thought this was the deal that France had this wall that they invest a lot of time and energy into to protect themselves from the Germans and the Germans just went around the wall. And now it's like a famous analogy for people who do that everywhere. You know, you've got the most secure dur in the world with two windows next to it. Like yeah. that's the yeah. Maginot line. <laughs> and I remember yeah, something and- about that as well. The World War II is fascinating. It's one of my it, it's it's the coolest it thing that's ever happened, I think, in human history. 
the Russian tactics versus like the Blitzkrieg tactics. Like the Russians literally were just like, just keep just keep going. Like just Don't just you keep love that? going. Do you remember when Where we played do we company go, of- comrade? Just go, dude. Just go <laughs> forward, and it's like I'm the, cold, um, hungry, and I don't have shoes on. <laughs> Can I go this way? Point this way, then go forward. What yeah. was the uh, the game that we played, Taylor? With the, like the World War II, it was um an RTS, oh, Medal like, of Honor or something. Company of Heroes or something. Company of Heroes, something like that. It was the yeah, top. Yeah, yeah. Down. Like, yeah Company like, of Heroes too. That's what we played. It was so fun to play as the Russians because they had like a penal squad or something, like maybe a penal grenadier squad. Yeah. So like eight guys just running in like brown uniforms and they all you could you could make them all throw their grenades at once and decimate some fucking Wehrmacht like like high level German nonsense over there. It was, it was funny how that fun game, game played out too because like if you played as the Russians it was like your tanks are cheap as shit, your conscripts have horrible aim but they're cheap as shit but you just keep pumping them out. And if you played as the the Germans it was like you got to save up and get that tiger or that panther tank and then you protect that panther tank because it's going to destroy every other tank that comes in range, but you can't let it take hits, you know, and you got your little like elite Germans. And then the Americans were kind of like the the middle ground faction, if I recall, where it's like yeah. the tanks weren't as good as the Germans, but their infantry weren't as bad as the Russians. What a fun game. That was a good game. That was a really good game. I like to do those um, <clears throat> just like bottleneck defense strategies where we just have tons of emplaced guns and stuff, Bofors guns and stuff. That's a really fun game. I wonder if there's a uh, a new version of that. That was fun. Yeah, we would just play and be like, all right, we're doing another custom map. This time, let's put 12 enemies on the other side. You take the left bridge, I take the right. And then like three hours later, we'd be like, I don't think they're going to make it through. Because yeah, the yeah, entire, yeah. like, <laughs> the, the, the debris stays there. And so, like, there's just an entire bridge clogged with Russian or Nazi tanks or whatever. So they, like, yeah, we would make like 12 around. armies try to come down a long bridge, <laughs> like a suspension <laughs> bridge. And we're on the other end with like sandbags and cannons. <laughs> no, that was and they didn't get the memo that you can play <laughs> defensive. <laughs> no, no. no, that's a really yeah, fun that was a great game. game.